Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day whenever and wherever you're watching this video. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing any of my content here on YouTube, welcome, my name is Sam. So glad that you're here. In today's video, we're just gonna do like a get ready with me um, and kind of like slash story time type of a vibe. So let's just go ahead and dive in. Um, if you haven't subscribed, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Then also give this video a like and also turn on the notification bell so that way you are notified anytime I upload anything here on the YouTubes. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already primed my face, so I'm just gonna go in and start color correcting. And I'm gonna use this um, Master Cameo pen from Maybelline and I primarily do it underneath my eyes here. So as you can see, I've got some bags girlfriend. So we're gonna do this today. But I thought it would be fun to talk about <clears throat> my story with veganism. So if you guys are watching my content here and you're kind of following my journey, then you know I'm on a weight loss journey. <clears throat> and in one of my videos, I talked about um, how my husband and I used to be vegans, very briefly. And um, that video got a lot of likes because um, I asked you guys to like and thumbs up the video if you wanted to see our journey and so a lot of you you know basically were like yep we want to hear about your story so I thought it'd be fun just to kind of talk about it as we're getting makeup on just so I'm not dedicating like a whole like video to it because I don't know I just feel like kill two birds with one stone right so basically um our story with veganism started back in 2018 so two years ago now and basically how we got into veganism um, I'm going to use this foundation here from Flesh, and it's the Tone Toffee number 26. So how we got into veganism is, um, well, let me back up. So for several years, my husband had struggled with high blood pressure, and he's young. He's in his 30s. Um, it's just, there's several factors there. But anyway, he had always kind of struggled with his blood pressure. And so he had kind of done like the high protein, low carb diet and would lose tons of weight, but it was never sustainable. He can never keep like the weight off. So basically we were kind of at this uh, conjuncture where, you know, he really needed to do something serious and drastic about his diet. I mean, at one point a doctor told him like, hey, if you don't get this under control, like, you know, you're really um, susceptible to like heart attack, stroke type of thing because your blood pressure is so high. So we took that really seriously. We're like, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do, right? So after just a bunch of research and kind of just weighing through the options, my husband was like, well, I really wanna try veganism um, because, you know, I really want to go down that path, right? And just see where it takes me. And at the time we were really interested in like super clean eating. Um, and we were just really kind of interested in that. Me personally, I was already kind of on a journey of not eating as much meat. Growing up, I never really was like a big meat eater. I always kind of leaned towards the, um, like the fruits and the vegetables. That's just kind of like where my taste buds naturally took me um, to kind of uh, get the nutrients in my body. I'm gonna use this milk. Um, stick to contour. So that was kind of like my natural inkling already, my natural incline. I never really was like a huge, super heavy meat eater, however my husband was. So when he was telling me like, hey, I want to go vegan, I was like, are you sure you want to do that? Because like you really like meat. Like I can, you know, certainly go vegan, you know, that's just an easier transition for me because I already have that natural um, inclination to not eat as much meat. Like my taste buds just naturally go there. And then two, I was kind of already in that spot with my health journey. And I've never struggled with like any pre-existing conditions. Um, I was just kind of like on this journey of like just eating cleaner and healthier. So he kind of made the decision on his own, which I'm fine with that. He never really asked me if I wanted to go vegan. I made that choice just to support him. Because I figured, hey, it's easier to have two people go vegan than, um, you know, one person still continue to eat meat and then the other person not eating meat. I don't know. I just felt like it was really um, not kind and considerate. And, you know, I was kind of interested in veganism, too, to be honest. So we decided to go vegan, I believe, like 
the spring of 2018. Um, and so we were, we just immediately kind of just cut everything out. Now, at least for me, I had already cut out dairy and gluten because I was having some digestive issues with those. Like anytime I ate dairy or gluten, like I would get these terrible stomach aches. Like I would just feel like crap. And so I already had kind of cut that out of my diet already. Um, so I was doing more of like a whole 30 kind of paleo kind of diet at this point. I wasn't eating any dairy. It wasn't eating any gluten. So that was kind of where I was. And then my husband was on a different spectrum where he was more like, you know, just a, a huge carnivore basically. So for us, we decided to do that. We kind of went in and did that. Um, let me, while well, I'm still talking here, let me find my, um, my stuff here. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. I couldn't find my bronzer, uh, my powder bronzer. So I'm just going to like lay down the cream bronzer that I just used. So what was I saying? Okay, yep, so in the spring of 2018, we decided to go vegan. And again, I did it just to support my husband. He was really like, really sold. We did a lot of research on veganism. Again, we both thought it was a good move for him just to kind of see if that was something that was more of a sustainable lifestyle for him. Because at that point, he kind of had gotten the wake up call from his doctor like, hey, if you don't change, something drastic is going to happen and it's not gonna be like in a good way. So we were really like, oh my gosh, we really need to take this seriously. So we kind of started on that journey. And then for the first probably month or so, I'm just gonna grab some powder. For the first month or so, we were just kind of coming up with meals on our own. We at that point had not transitioned our son to anything. So at this time, my son's probably eight years old, almost nine. No, he was like seven years old. He was young. And we decided not to trans, you know, have him go on this journey with us. We decided, hey, we're just going to do it. And my son's already kind of a picky eater. He doesn't eat a lot of meat either. He kind of is inclined like me. He doesn't really eat a lot of meat. So we just didn't think like, hey, it was fair to have him go on this veganism journey when he's already so picky. So we kind of kept his diet the way it was, which is honestly pretty limited as it is. So... We decided to do that. So in the beginning, we were just eating like a bunch of like pastas and things that are like carb heavy, um, just to feel as though like we were getting full, we were getting like all the stuff, right? We were eating a lot of beans at that point, but then we kind of got into a rut. Like we were eating the same things over and over again. And as you know, if you are a vegan or have been a vegan before, those things kind of get repetitive. And at least for us, we like variety in our diet. So it kind of got to this place where like, oh my gosh, like beans and rice again. Like we just weren't creative in, in trying to come up with new ways to kind of eat differently as vegans, right? We're so used to just incorporating some type of meat into our diet. So my husband did some research and we found this meal subscription called Purple Carrot. And basically it's like a HelloFresh for vegans. They, um, <laughs> if you're familiar with like HelloFresh, they give you like everything you need to make the meal. My husband was taking a phone call, so I just closed my door. So minus, um, minus, you know, again, like your pots and pans. Again, very similar to HelloFresh. It was like purple carrot for, for vegans. So we signed up for that and we, we enjoyed it because again, it gives you this different variety. We were trying different foods. And we were incorporating a lot more nutrient dense things, right? Like I said, versus like a beans and rice or something of that nature. So we were doing that and my husband saw amazing results being a vegan. He lost over 30 pounds. He was working out like two times a day. Like he was really taking his health seriously. As a result, um, I was already in the routine of working out. I was working with a trainer at the time. So I was already down some pounds. Um, excuse me, I was already down some pounds. I was working towards a weight loss goal, right? So then just being vegan and then working out like two or three times a week on my own, I started seeing results. I didn't ever weigh myself, but looking back on pictures, I'll kind of insert pictures as I go. I probably would say I lost probably 20-ish pounds, right? Um, I gotten down to a really good weight. I think I, at one point I had gotten to like 10 pounds, um, like within the 10 pound range of like where I was before I got married. So I was like 145 when I got married. So I was like 150, 155 when I was a vegan. So I was in that range, right? Pretty healthy range. So 
we were seeing a bunch of results, things like that it was awesome. We did veganism for six months. Um, and again, we liked it. The only downside of veganism, I'm gonna grab my highlighter, a couple of downsides. So number one, um, we were really limited in our options when it came to eating out. So we like to eat out. And so there was just only, at least where we live, there's just not a lot of vegan restaurants. There's probably maybe two or three that are dedicated like vegetarian vegan restaurants. And then there's probably maybe, maybe 10 or so restaurants that offer vegan options, right? And it'd be one thing if it was vegetarian, like my husband probably would have done that, but because I wasn't eating dairy, like we couldn't go the vegetarian route. And a lot of restaurants were like, oh, we have vegetarian options. And I'm like, well, I can't eat the cheese. And they're like, oh, well. So, and I mean, looking back, I could have probably gotten the cheese removed and like figured out cur like creative ways to eat at other restaurants. But at least where we live here in the Midwest and in Missouri, like it's just really hard to find like good quality vegan restaurants. We would always joke like if we lived in like New York or California, like it'd be so much easier to be a vegan, right? Because you just have more options, right? You're kind of living in the heart of America where like beef is king, pork is king, chicken is king, right? So it was just really kind of difficult. So that was one of the downsides. <clears throat> Excuse me, downside number two is that a lot of our family wasn't vegan. So if we were to go to like any family event, we'd have to take like our own food and that just kind of got um, kind of cumbersome. But the main thing with it is, you know, I, um, with the purple carrot and kind of what kind of caused us to kind of at least stop with purple carrot was that, um, like I said, like I told you guys, I was kind of watching my gluten intake, but I wasn't very um, mindful of it. So I knew like I had a gluten sensitivity, but I wasn't really being proactive and cutting it out of my diet as much as I should have. So a lot of what the purple carrot boxes included were things like, you know, um, things that had gluten in it. And at the time I was just having a really hard issue with gluten. So I started having like severe um, digestive issues, like where I couldn't eat half of the meals, right? That purple carrot was giving us. And the other thing with purple carrot is you don't choose the meals like a Hello Fresh. Like they just basically tell you like, hey, these are your meals. Now purple carrot might have changed um, but again, two years ago, that's kind of what it was. They just told you what was being shipped to you and then you just you ate it. Um, and so I didn't have the option, sorry, putting on chapstick. I didn't have the option to choose like meals that weren't including gluten. And I think it's really hard when you are vegan and you try not to eat gluten because like a lot of the stuff that you eat probably has gluten in it to get enough carbohydrate intake into you. So that was the other thing. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I was really struggling being a vegan at this point because <clears throat> I was limited in what I could eat that didn't have gluten. So I then started to kind of revert back. Um, I started incorporating a little bit more chicken into my diet, like lean proteins. And I was trying to stay away from like red meats because I didn't really want to do like heavy red meats. My husband at this point, you know, like I said, was losing weight, maintaining. He was on a really great health journey. He was doing awesome. But then when I became, when I kind of backed off the veganism train and I started eating like more lean proteins, he kind of followed with me, which is not a problem. It's not an issue. I think he can still be healthy and eat chicken and fish and like I said, lean proteins. So that's kind of where we went with it. We're like, hey, we'll just kind of eat like the leaner proteins type of a thing. And then it just kind of came to a place where we got really busy with our lifestyle. There were some things that had happened, um, you know, with us, nothing bad, but just like I said, we just kind of reverted back to our old ways. And so it, then it became a, hey, we just, we eat red meat now, we eat pork. And so it just, it kind of, kind of reverted back to that. My husband did gain some of his weight back. And so, you know, that's kind of where we're at. He has his blood pressure under control. Um, we've done some some other things to kind of keep it in check. Um, so as of right now, he does have a healthy blood pressure range, praise God, because that was the biggest thing of why we went vegan, for him to kind of get his blood pressure under control, um, which he has now, thank goodness. So, you know, one of the things that caused us to go with um, HelloFresh 
is because you know they do have the options of going vegetarian. I do so, eat a little bit of dairy. I mean, I still can't really handle like milk and heavy cheeses, but like if I have like a little bit of cheese on like something, like my body can't handle it. So, and what's nice about HelloFresh is that you can have vegetarian options. So we try to at least have one vegetarian option a week with our box and then two with like a lean protein. So we will get a lot of them with like chicken and stuff in it. Or we have done some with pork, but we try to keep it balanced, right? And really try to kind of go through that, um, that wavelength. The other thing too, at least with purple carrot, is that it was a pretty expensive box. Um, and I get it, you know, you, you probably would have to charge a little bit more because there's probably not a lot of people, there's probably not as many vegans as there are carnivores out there or people that are that eat a little bit of chicken and of vegetables. And so I, I get that you have to charge a little bit more, but it was also like a cost savings for us too. And the other thing that I found with being a vegan is I hate tofu guys. <laughs> I cannot stand it. Texture of tofu, I didn't like the way it tasted. And I know like people will say, well, tofu takes on the flavor of whatever you're cooking. And that's true. I'm just a big texture person. And I just, I could not stand the texture. Like it just, it drove me up a wall. Could not handle it. So. Oh goodness. I just had like a pallet fall onto my hand. Oh no. Look what it did y'all. Oh, it sucks. Oh man. Well, at least I saved the pallet. Okay. As I was saying, um, I just, I, I found that I just couldn't really get down with tofu. Now I know there's like other options now, like the seitan, I think is what they call it, but it's like which is like a really good source of protein, but that's derivative of wheat. Um, and to kind of connect back to what I was saying, my body can handle dairy um, in little quantities, but I still struggle with gluten, you guys. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if like my body has the right bacteria, but I can eat certain breads and it doesn't bother me. But if I eat a, a certain piece of bread, like my stomach will be tore up like severe pain. I don't think I have celiac disease. I don't think that's what's going on. I think I just have some type of sensitivity to certain types of breads and my body just hasn't built up those certain type of bacteria to process those certain types of breads. So all that to say is I don't even really eat bread anymore. So I think if I were to go back and be a vegan, I would have to figure out creative ways to be able to eat and sustain myself without using wheat and that's kind of where I think I struggled in the beginning I think there's probably a way I'm sure there's tons of vegans out there I mean there's raw vegans out there right so I mean I could go raw if I really wanted to if I wanted to explore veganism again that might be an option that'd just be a huge shift right but again I'm open to whatever I'm not like you know I'm not saying I wouldn't go back and do it again because it certainly is something I would consider doing but Anyway, so that's kind of our story. So we stopped, like I said, after six months of being vegans. And like I said, now probably two years now, year and a half, two years, we've been incorporating meat back into our diet. There are certain aspects of veganism that I do miss. Um, I do like the simplicity of it. Um, you know, it's just, and you don't have to worry about like, you know, with meat, like if you don't cook things at a certain temperature, like you get sick. That's not really the case with vegetables, right? You could cook a, you could eat a vegetable raw as long as you washed it, right? So those are just some aspects of veganism that I do miss of like the ease of it, the convenience of it, you know, and things of that nature. I'm going to put on this lippy. This is Ashton by Anastasia. So that is something I do miss. Um, like I've been kind of hinting at, I probably would go back and do veganism again. Um, sometime in the near future maybe I don't know we'll just see we're kind of digging on this hello fresh right now and they're they're really really good and this is 20 from Kylie Jenner all right I'm just looking at myself in the mirror over here making sure everything looks good and DD I'm gonna put a little bit more mascara on so that's just kind of what our journey is. Um, like I said, we, we enjoyed being vegans. That wasn't an issue. It was just my body's inability to process gluten is what really kind of led us back down the path of eating meat again. I think if my body could have handled the, the wheat aspect, 
um, I would have gone a lot longer because again we really enjoyed it like it wasn't like tumultuous I mean obviously like I said we <clears throat> we had the issues of like having to be creative when we went to family events or you know we just didn't eat out as much but as far as the experience like I didn't mind being a vegan like I like I said I, I enjoyed it I liked the aspects of the ease of the cooking of it I liked um that we still were able to kind of get some variety in our diet and I certainly liked how I felt like I felt a lot lighter um I had a lot more energy um and that would be something why I would consider going back to veganism because I felt a lot healthier and like my body felt more vibrant I'm just gonna put some spray on so that was the aspects that I really like so again if I if I can get this whole gluten thing figured out, then I probably would go back to being a vegan for a little bit. Um, again, we didn't do veganism from the animal rights perspective. Obviously, some people do, and that's great. We did it for more of the health benefits for my husband, and then obviously I, I joined that bandwagon. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, like I said, veganism certainly is not out completely. We would certainly go back Um you know, to to that lifestyle. Again, if I can figure out how to get my gluten intolerance under control. So anyway, that's basically my story. And this is my look. Um, I forgot to mention earlier, but this is the palette that I used. It's the Urban Decay Born to Run. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and you found it entertaining and helpful. Um, again, don't forget to, to like and subscribe and then turn on your notification bell. Um, I upload about one to two days a week here on YouTube. That's my average. Um, so again, if you like this content and you want to see more of it, then don't forget to subscribe until next time. I'll see you later. Bye.